Hey guys, Gail the Common 23 back again with another video and this is going to be episode 18 of First Watch. And I thought I'd get, get this um, filmed a bit earlier this week, just kind of get out of the way a little bit because I'm not really too just for it, but anyway. Uh, this week I thought I'd go for something a, a bit different. I'd be going for kind of the, the more well-known films, kind of blockbusters and, blockbusters and such. So I thought I'd go a little bit different with uh, a film that I'm pretty sure not a lot of people have heard of. And it is uh, Santa Sangra. Uh, directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky, or Jodorowsky, it's, so it's spelt with a W, but I think it's pronounced with a V. As I thought it'd be something a little bit different, uh, kind of cult cinema, some a film that hardly anybody would have seen. So uh, I thought I'd do this one. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, so there we have the uh, incredibly basic and kind of a little bit boring uh, main menu for Santa Sangra. Uh, really looking forward to uh, checking this out. I said in the intro, I'm a big fan of uh, cult cinema and uh, the director Alejandro Jodorowsky, so uh, yep, I hope it's pretty good. Hello, we have the end credits for Santa Sangra. God, that was a bizarre film, but no less good. So uh, yeah, I'll give my thoughts. Yes, yeah, so I just finished watching uh, Santa Sangra. Really kind of weird, out there, that, the definition of cult cinema. A uh, basic, basic story is um, there's this family that lives... Um, lives in a uh, circus, uh, a mother, a father and a son and um, it kind of flits back between, uh, there's like the opening scene is um, in the present and then it goes to a flashback then a flash forward. Yeah, basically the family in the circus and uh, some were kind of weird, I can't really explain it but kind of some weird shit happens including um, elephant funerals, uh, double amputations and, uh, and uh, suicide. And but then it kind of uh, goes uh, to kind of yeah so so it starts in at one time then it goes back then it goes forward to that same time again and basically the son is in a, a mental um, institution and um, and he um, starts kind of having uh, flashbacks to the time when he's in the circus and um, again some weird shit starts happening and uh, in the bay kind of turns into this kind of revenge kind of revenge film. Uh, I mean, Alejandro Jodorowsky is kind of like the king of surrealism. Um, if you've seen uh, El Topo, you'll know what I'm uh, talking about. I haven't seen The Holy Mountain yet, but I think I might check, like, check this out. Uh, check that out even. Uh, like I said, contains a lot of weird imagery, like, uh, like I said, dub amputations and uh, kind of quite a lot of not extreme violence. It's not kind of gratuitous, but it is kind of kind of shocking in some places. Like a lot of like a lot of really striking imagery, it's really nice looking film. And uh, I don't know what it is about um uh, uh, films. It's kind of it's I mean this is his most straightforward, but in kind of a lot of his films it's like there is a simple plot that's easy easy to follow, but he films it in this kind of way that sometimes kind of hard to follow. Like sometimes like things would happen in in the film, then you'd only kind of Kind of figure figure it out at the end of the film with kind of stuff that stuff that happens, which is a kind of a, a sign of really a sign of a good film, in my opinion, really. And uh, and with the kind of this kind of director, even if you kind of if you don't like his films uh, or you do like his films, there's always some, something to talk about, which is a kind of re the sign of a of, a, of an artist, really. It's really not too much to say about this film. Kind of stunning visuals. Uh, Kind of e easy to follow plot, which is good for a, a Jodorowsky film. Cause sometimes it can kind of be really, really out there. Which, is, but I say this is mostly kind of accessible one. It's kind of like a David Lynch with a straight story. Kind of that's his like most straightforward one. Whereas all oh, his other films are kind of kind of weird. But uh, anyway, really good. Uh, I can't see myself kind of uh, rushing out to uh, kind of. I wouldn't kind of recommend. I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. I'll say that now. Because yeah, there's a lot of kind of weird, kind of surrealist imagery, which people, which quite, I reckon quite a lot of people, you kind of turn a lot of people off. But if you're a fan of that kind of, I mean, it's the perfect film for uh, cult film fans. Uh, if you haven't, so if you haven't, if you're a fan of cult films and you haven't seen it, I would check it out. But I say I wouldn't be a kind of in a big rush to see it again. But um, I think it's pretty cheap on Blu-ray. I think you might be able to download it. So if you, I say, if you're a fan of cult films, it's uh, it's really for you. And uh, yeah, I give it a good seven out of ten. I mean, it's kind of it was a bit kind of style of substance for me. Really nice uh, kind of uh, shots and uh, really, really kind of 
surreal imagery, but some but it's, some of it is like really nice to look at. So uh, yeah, give it a give it a seven out of ten. Nothing too special, but I check it out if uh, you have not already. Yeah, it's been, been a bit of a short one this week, but I kind of haven't really kind of been really in the mood for it like I have been kind of most weeks. But uh, again, I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I'll be doing this. Uh, Every week, because the thing with this is that even if I do what, even when I do watch films that are in my, in my collection, I do buy more stuff. So, uh, so I can see this, um, see this uh, video series going going for quite a long time. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. That's watching.